Horror fans can rejoice because the much anticipated fire starter is on the Cinemark screen and I'm here with the star of the film and also the director. Keith, talk to us about what fans of Stephen King's novel can expect with this version of Firestarter. Yeah, I think for me, this version of Firestarter really boils down to the essence of what I most enjoyed about the book, which is the relationship between Charlie and her father, Andy, um, the tension and scares associated with her abilities and control or lack of control of them and kind of when Charlie will explode next and this sort of larger world thriller conspiracy thriller aspects of a family on the run being chased by this shadowy kind of government uh, people who are out to get them in particular our character Rainbird so I think for me it was really kind of st streamlining the story to get to this essence of of this family dynamic, a family in crisis, a girl with powers, and not knowing where it's going to turn. Ryan, I want to talk to you. First off, your performance is fantastic. Thank you. But you get to play every kid's dream, right? Possessing <laughs> <I know>. powers. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is, is it like to portray someone like Charlie? It's so cool. I know coming into this, I was like, oh my gosh, like, like, this is like some of my favorite genre kind of thing uh, with these superpowers and I was so excited to come into this and to explore this journey of this character and Keith was really there for me with the creation and the build up of Charlie um, and it was really cool and not only that but it's also fire but it's also this story about a family and so I thought that was amazing and that really just showed the beauty of the script and the beauty of the book and really helped that in the movie. Um, and it's different than any other horror that you would expect. I mean, horror, it's scary, but this is scary, but also a lot of love and this family. Charlie? Don't be stupid. Where's mommy? Do you feel that? Let her go or it's gonna get a lot worse. Where's mommy? Tell me now! She's the first of her kind. A real life. Superhero. Keith, I wonder, is it enticing or is it intimidating to direct <laughs> like a reimagining of a film that's that's such a fan favorite? You know, it's both. Uh, I would say when I first was approached about doing it, it was very exciting because I could see an opportunity there. Um, fans have the original 1984 film that the you know that exists and can be watched anytime, and I think it's still very much true to what it to what it intended to be. Whereas I, it seemed like an opportunity for me to go back to the source material and explore a different vein of it uh, that I thought was there. Um, so that was exciting, but then of course intimidating once it kind of dawned on me that, oh snap, I'm making a Stephen King film and uh, there's a canon behind this and there's a huge fandom and there's expectations. And so I eventually had to put that stuff aside and just say, I'm just, I'm making this movie as I want to make it, and it's yeah. going to be what it's going to be. Absolutely. Well, let me just tell you, as a fan of the original, it met the expectations. <laughs> Good. And I'm fully excited for fans to get to witness this heart-pumping film. So get your tickets for Firestarter at Cinemark.com. I don't want to hurt anyone, but it feels kind of good.